Hello everyone, welcome back to Arrakis for another episode of Let's Play Dune, the 1992 video game adaptation of the 1965 novel and 1984 film. This is the Amiga version. If you joined us last time, you will have seen us find one of the um, seemingly rare fail states in the game, and uh, an illustrative one too. I found myself thinking um, for quite a while afterwards about um, the image and how, how affecting it was actually. Um, so much like the first time we we reached um, a fail state in the game, you see the the body of Paul Atreides, the character we're playing, uh, decaying in the desert, and um, our uh, companion Silgar, who's giving us a handy hint here, um, was despairing that he wouldn't be able to achieve his cause of fighting against the Harkonnens without Paul. And I found it really interesting that the game chose to use that moment and uh, instill that fail state, um, seemingly to further the, the character of Stilgar and the, the strength of the belief um, he has in Paul as the only saviour. Um, I found that really interesting um, uh, in how it ties into the, the ideas that are in uh, the, the novel of Dune. Um, and seem to be in, in this adaptation as well. So um, you will hopefully note that I've got back to where we were. Um, as just a couple of things to note. So I'll have a quick look at the Dune map. So I've replayed the progress that we lost from last episode. Uh, a couple of things are different. So you might have noticed a little message popped up there saying we now have some rallied troops. Uh, because I hadn't realised because of the order in which I did things last time. but. If you talk to one of the Fremen leaders with Stilgar as your companion, you get a new dialogue option to rally them. So that, I don't think that will change their occupation, but it will mean they're aligned to your cause and they are willing to fight for you. Um, I assume that particular number will, will come into play at some point. Um, so that's probably something we can do at this location as well. So I'll attempt that in a minute. Another difference is that the, um, some of the events in the game must be randomised because uh, this harvester was not lost um, in my last uh, playthrough to this point, um, whereas it had previously. So that's still chugging along nicely, um, so we're, we're better off in that sense. And I think I made better time as well as I uh, knew what I was, exactly what I was doing to catch up to this point. So I think we're a little bit earlier in the timeline by a few hours probably. Uh, I believe it's day 16 instead of heading into day 17. So it's next to the maps. Let's talk to the Fremen chief. My troop is settled in Toronto Tabir. We've been doing spice mining for six days. Uh, man, motivation, productivity. Since we started, we were extracted. Um, right now we're doing what comes an hour. I believe that's the same as last time. Now I didn't see. Interesting. So, um, in my conversation with the previous Fremen chief, uh, the give orders to troop um, option was actually um, rally, rally to me, I think, or something, or rally for me um, as a command, which was really interesting. So what equipment is around here? Some knives, okay. Cool, so we might, might want the prospectors to pick those up. Okay, I'll leave that be for now. Um, so we've got a recent save, so I, I shan't uh, worry about saving again yet. Let's head into the inner sketch and let's attempt this again. You're the first non-June per born person allowed to see this port. Yes, there are many caches like that ball. It's the old Fremen dream, vegetation on Arrakis. There is very slight humidity in the air on Arrakis. We use a wind trap to extract it and it comes down and gathers here. We also have little qual quantities of the very special water of life. It is used by our few reverend mothers. The water of life extends consciousness, but only a few people are able to absorb it and live. Would you like to try it, Maladib? So, we accepted before, 
that was fatal. Refuse. So I don't know what the difference is going to be between arguing or refusing. I don't know what we'd be arguing for, but uh, I'm willing to find out. So let's see. You are wise. Maybe someday you'll be ready to drink the water of life. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hmm. So something else will have to happen first. Okay, so we've got some strategic stuff to do here. Let's see. So where are there? So there's no people there, no equipment there. Likewise there. That's... Okay, that um, simplifies things in that region. I think the same is true there, yeah. So we've got some people here. Um, I believe those areas. Yeah, are now pretty, pretty low in spice density. So there's gonna be diminishing returns from mining there. But this area still has a little bit more to give. So what I'm thinking is I will try and retain some troops here and here for um, defense purposes. But I think what I'll do first is I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna sort of head around clockwise. I'll fly there first. See how those guys are doing. Ooh, instant dawn. Um, rally them. Here we go. Yes, there's two two groups. That's very good. Okay. From chief. It's been days since we've heard from you. It's true. I was out flying. Um, yeah, you've probably been spice mining some of the longest of anybody here. On trial and spice. Yeah. Yeah. Not very productive. Okay. Interesting. So no, no rally option there either. Hmm. So can I get you to specialise in army? Ah, there's nothing like military training. I can. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's talk to the other. Um, was it the second Fremen chief we need to talk to? Yes. Okay. Our ability is increasing. We're now average in spice. All good. Okay, so they're getting more spice out. So could I? Yes, yeah, so I can't rally there. Either. That's interesting. I wonder if there's um, certain groups that are supposed to be for rallying. That might be the case. That's interesting. So I, what does? Hurrah! You better talk with the Fremen chiefs. Good advice. Troop chiefs appreciate your visit. Ah, oh, thanks, Silver. Okay, so I think we'll leave it at that actually for there so let's go across to here i can't remember i think this might be a vacant one actually Let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. I might be able to get in touch with everybody I need to from here um, via psychic link. I'm not sure if they'd know that. Um, ah, Spice Press Prospect is great. Um, I can't modify your equipment from here. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Um, Oh, I can modify the equipment there. Interesting.
testing. That's intriguing. All right, I think I'm going to have to go there actually um, to sort all this out. So let's go there. See if we can rally anybody. Skip to the destination there. Okay, so there's loads of people hanging around. Right, so prospect chief. Yeah, can I give you some orders, please? I'd like to modify equipment. Ah, uh, I know what I need to do first. I need to talk to this group. I'm gonna take your, uh, sorry, I'm gonna take that away from you. No more money, sorry. Um, and then talk to the prospectors and modify their equipment and give them one of these awnings. One will move faster from one sketch to another. Great. Okay. That's fine. So if I... Let's talk to the Chiefs first, actually. How are you doing? Okay. This doing fairly well, um, better than um, the group that was doing one kilogram per hour. Yeah, not doing too too bad either. So I might leave those um, doing what they are, and I'm gonna look at the map because I think this was the place where there were some Chris knives. Okay, there's unused. Okay, so they've got no equipment. They've got no equipment. What's going on down here? They've got a harvester. Okay, so I think what I'm going to use the um, prospectors for for now is uh, for collecting stuff. So if I get the prospect is to here. Ooh, we're completely depleted that central area, haven't we? Interesting. Okay, so they should get there pretty quickly. I wonder if we can I contact them. Oh, they're too far away. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, so I might need to go back there at some point, which is fine. Um, it's probably going to be time to head back to the palace in a minute anyway. So that's alright. Oh, are they already there? Great. Can I modify your equipment? Yeah, that's it. Get hold of those. No, you can't take that. Can you only carry two things? That might be possible, actually. Um, I know. Okay. Can you take another one? No. Only one of each thing, maybe. Okay. Um, is this... That's where the harvester is. I wonder if... I can get the prospect is to go there and pick up that. Oh, hopefully I can. Okay, so I'm gonna fly back here. I'm gonna see if that group of Fremen would move to the vacancy edge here. Or if not, whether they would change um, occupation to fight for the cause instead. Ooh, that magenta's incredibly vibrant. I like it. The interface changes colour as well. That's 
it's very nice. Oh, hang on, I'm getting a message. Paul, don't forget the spice shipments for the Emperor. Oh, okay. Thank you, Duncan. Well, I'll just quickly do things here. Let's go down. Okay, Fremen Chief. Are you willing to move? You are. Oh, wow. Okay. So I think you should definitely head there. I think that's a really good idea. Um, so you guys here. Oh, can I talk to the prospector? Yeah, can I modify equipment? Um, yes, you can hit one of those. Fantastic. Okay, so you've got at least one of everything. That's brilliant. So I want you to move to. Oh, let's have a quick look at the spice density. The densest area is actually that middle one. Yeah. Oh, nice. It highlights which color it is as well on the the chart when you hover over it. But that's very handy in case you have trouble turning the um, the parts the uh, sorry the the tones apart. Oh, and I ah these new areas are on the map too. Great. Oh, it's lots of inventory. Wow, there's so much there. Okay. Right, so I think I'm going to get them to drop. I'm going to get the prospectors to drop the harvester off here. Here. And then head off to one of the new sketches. So, can you go. Just here's fine. Thanks. Thank you. And then I'm going to get over to the palace to send some spice to um, Old Chidam the Fourth. Uh, where's the palace? Palace. There it is. Okay. I'm going to go there. Oh, crikey, it does say it's the 18th now, doesn't it? That took a lot of time. Uh, let's skip to destination. See if we can make it in time. Through the corridor, talk to Duncan. Oh, I probably need to see the message first. Okay, yeah, I do. Okay. Um, view new messages. Emperor. I want a shipment of 2,570 kilograms of spice today. Okay. Uh, how much do we have? Let's check in with Duncan. Okay, no, we, we can do that. Yeah, he did ask for us. The Emperor asked for a spice shipment, didn't he? We can send him what he asked for, as our stocks are. And we'll argue. We sent him the tally of our stocks, that's a lot indeed. Uh, no. Maybe if we have sent more than what he asked, that wouldn't be a problem. I think we should send him exactly what he asked. I don't want to please him, I just want to keep him off the backs. I'm not very excited about having the Emperor come here, you know. Neither am I. Um, okay. So I think I need to go back to the first option. Uh, the Emperor asked for a ship based spice shipment, didn't he? Um, let's give him what he asked for and accept. Okay, Paul, let's go to the communication room at once and send this shipment to the Emperor. Come on, let's go to the communication room. Uh, so do I need to ask Harad to wait here? Um, I'll stay here if you want. If I, if I, I'll stay here if I want to. You don't seem to know what you want. Follow me. Stay here. Sheesh. Okay. So Duncan, come with me. Good. Let's go. That's that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Let's let's go. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
that's our spice leaving. Spice has been shipped, let's wait for the Emperor's reaction. Okay, I'm waiting. We don't have to worry, we've sent what he asked. Ah, the answer's just come. Let's have a look at this message. Let's hope he continues to be happy with the amount he asked for. You sent me the spice I've asked you. You sent me the spice I've asked you for? I think it should be. Good. Next shipment will be four days from now. Yeah, I think his demands are going to increase um, each time. So I think it's entirely reasonable to um, just give him what he asks for. Uh, rather than set high expectations. Now it's still got with us, we can really begin to think about attacking these Harkonnens. Now remember that you can use Gurney Halleck to help instruct Fremen in the handling of arms. Ooh, let's go talk to Gurney. Um, who was last seen here? Paul, I studied the weapons here. Interesting, really. I think that now I can train some Fremen in the same way as I taught you before we came here. Bring me to a CH where I can teach the Fremen our art of combat. Ooh, well there's an enticing prospect. Okay. Well, uh, uh, come with me, Gurney. Come with me. Okay, Paul, I'm going with you. Unfortunately, we'll have to leave. Uh, it seems rude to just say stop talking. I'll let, I'll let Gurney talk out. There we go. So... Unfortunately, we're going to have to leave her uh, here. She is definitely my favourite companion character so far. Um, okay, so I think for our last thing for this episode, we're going to um, take an ornithopter to... Ooh, actually, before we do that, let's see if we can reach the... Um, Prospectors. Oh, we can. Fantastic. So, can I modify your equipment? Uh, can you leave this here? Great. And then... Actually, this wasn't the right one, was it? Hang on. Um, spice density. I think it was the next one down, wasn't it? I really wanted that harvester. Okay, well, made a little mistake there. So let's modify equipment. Uh, pop that, put the harvester back in your pocket, and if you can, um, go to this one, please. Great, so you're going to head there, I think. Oh, you're already there. Wow, that's pretty instantaneous, isn't it? Um, I probably can't contact you. Yeah, okay. So, let's... Oh... Uh, shall I try... This? Okay. First up, I'm just going to go to... I'm going to fly to this place. Oh, excuse my clicking. I'm going to fly to this place. Lovely. Let's go inside. Let's, let's chew the fat. So there should be a Fremen leader and a prospector. Yeah. So, prospector chief, let's. Yeah, let's give orders to you. 
Spotify your equipment. I'd like you to pop this down here, thanks. And then I'd like to talk to these guys. How you doing? Okay, lovely. Better with a harvester. Well, funny you say that. How's that? There we go. Fantastic. So then, so you're equipped. Let's move the troop to this one here, which has loads of equipment in it. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll take an ornithopter over to now where was where was the ch where we rallied some troops it was not that one that was the one we got to and had to swerve to this one so we'll go here okay i'm gonna let this this flight play out in full um because i'm still not sure if they're there won't be any story, story based discoveries to make along the way. It does really help to give the world a sense of scale, even though it's fast and largely featureless, uh, which is kind of the kind of works for a desert planet. Um, it's kind of nice that it's just a bit too long. Okay, so let's go in here. Uh, this is the friend chief. Yes, this is the one I rallied before, so I what would I do here? Um They're now novice in military matters, okay. Um and they've got um So if I talk to Gurney here, if you like, I can stay here to train these Fremen in the handling of arms. Okay. So then I click stay here. Good, I'm going to Try to teach these Fremen the handling of arms. Thanks, Gurney. And then quickly. Not oh, I have a vision. Something terrible has happened in the palace. Heck, well that's our cliffhanger. Come back next time, so when we can find out what's happened in the palace. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and see you again next time. Take care. Bye bye.